The Emperor Tongzhi was the shortest living emperor in Qing Dynasty. He passed away in nineteen years old. Tongzhi inherited the throne when he was only five. The court was managed by two emperor's daughters, Ci An and Ci Xi. Although Ci Xi was Tongzhi's biological mother, but they had a horrible relationship. Tongzhi was raised by Ci An. Ci An carefully took care of Tongzhi, so they had a close mother and son relationship. In eighteen seventy two, Tongzhi was seventeen years old. Two emperor's daughters decided to choose wife for him. Theoretically, Tongzhi's empress should be elected through eight banners imperial election, but actually, before the election, the empress candidate. Was already decided. Ci An chose Alu Tashi. Alu Tashi was from Mongolia Plum Blue Banner. Her father was the only Mongolia Zhuangyuan. Zhuangyuan was the first place in imperial examination. Alu Tashi was a well-educated woman, and had great. Personalities. She was two years older than Tongzhi, because girls generally were more mature than boys, and Tongzhi was a naughty boy. Ci An believed Alu Tashi could give Tongzhi many help. Besides, Alu Tashi was Ci An's relative, so in Ci Xi's view. Alu Tashi was in Ci An's team. No way let her become the empress. So Ci Xi chose another girl as empress candidate. The girl liked by Ci Xi was from Fu Cha Clan. Fu Cha Shi was really pretty and active. Ci Xi saw her young age from Fu Cha girl. Besides. Fu Cha and Qianlong's Empress Xiao Xian were from same branch, and Ci Xi's mother also was from Fu Cha clan. Because two empress daughters couldn't get agreement on who became the empress, so Tongzhi got the chance to choose his wife by himself. In my opinion. Let Chong Tongzhi make final decision was Ci Xi's idea, because Ci An was the empress, while Ci Xi was the consort. Ci An's status was always higher than Ci Xi. If the decision must be made by the empress daughters, Ci Xi couldn't win. Besides. Ci Xi was Tongzhi's biological mother, so she thought Tongzhi would stand on her side. Unfortunately, Tongzhi didn't. He accepted Ci An's advice and chose Alu Tashi as the empress. Ci Xi was furious, but she had to accept the result. Although Fu Cha Shi only got the consort title, but her living conditions was same as the noble consort. Besides, the empress and the consort Hui, two empress daughters, also chose one noble concubine and one noble lady for Tongzhi. According to Qing Inner Court rules. Those four imperial women's promotion ceremony should be held on the same day, but actually, only Consort Hui's promotion ceremony was held on the same day with the Empress ceremony. Ci Xi wanted to use this way to tell everyone 
that Consort Hui was special. After married, Tong Zhi and the Empress had a great relationship. They spent lots of time with the Empress and didn't visit the Consort Hui very much. After Cixi knew this situation, she was really angry. She forced Tong Zhi to spend less time with the Empress and spent more time with the Consort Hui. Tong Zhi dared not publicly say no, but he totally ignored Consort Hui. We can say Cixi totally controlled Tong Zhi's life, personal and political. Tong Zhi passed away two years and three months after marriage. In official historical documents, he died because of the smallpox. But in many unofficial documents, he died because of syphilis. In syphilis version, Tong Zhi's death was like this. Because Cixi didn't allow Tong Zhi to sleep with his empress, Tong Zhi secretly went out of the Forbidden City and slept with some prostitutes. Because worried be recognized by government officers, Tong Zhi dared not to go to normal kite house and got the disease. After he was sick, the imperial doctors implied the emperor got a syphilis. But Cixi wanted to cover this scandal. So he required the imperial doctors to treat Tong Zhi's disease as smallpox. Of course, it doesn't work. So Tong Zhi died. Personally, I believe the smallpox version. Because Cixi was a tiger mother, she controlled Tong Zhi's whole life. I think she definitely arranged some eunuchs and maids to secretly monitor Tong Zhi's life. So it's almost impossible that Tong Zhi could secretly went outside the Forbidden City. Because Tong Zhi didn't have kids, two Empress Dodgers chose Tong Zhi's three years old cousin as new emperor who was known as the Emperor Guangxu. Because Guangxu was considered to inherit the throne from the Emperor Xianfeng, so two Empress Dodgers steal the Empress Dodger, not the Grand Empress Dodger. Tong Zhi's Empress and Guangxu were same generation, so a Lu Te Shi couldn't become the Empress Dowager. About two months after Tong Zhi passed away, A Lu Te Shi died. In official documents, after lost husband, the Empress was extremely sad and became hopelessly sick, then passed away. But most people didn't believe it. In Pu Yi's book, From Emperor to Citizen, after Tong Zhi passed away, Cixi got the chance to kill the Empress. She didn't allow anyone to send food to the Empress, so the Empress starved to death. But the most popular version was Tong Zhi's Empress was suicide. In 1879, Huiling was finished. Tong Zhi and his empress were buried together. The consort Hui was liked by Cixi. Several months before Tong Zhi passed away, she was promoted to the imperial noble consort. This was the second time that empress and the imperial noble consort existed at the same time. 
When Chongzhi passed away, the imperial noble consort was only fifteen years old. As the widow of the emperor, she had no chance to remarry. But Cixi did cheat it her well. About half a month after Tongzhi passed away, Cixi gave the imperial noble consort a feng hao, dun yi. In eighteen ninety four, before Cixi's sixty years birthday, Cixi added the word. Rongqing, in the imperial noble consort's honor name, so the consort Hui became the only imperial noble consort in Qing Dynasty who had four characters honor name. In 1904, the imperial noble consort passed away and was buried in Tongzhi's consort's tombs. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.